All right, so the next one is this one, C201, cracking AES with weak keys. And this is going to use Crypt Tool, which is what I used before I learned about CyberChef. And I was not able to figure out how to do what we're going to do here in CyberChef. So I guess I'm not done with Crypt Tool yet. So for Crypt Tool, you need a Windows machine. And I should have one here. Not that. But this. There we go. My Windows machine. OK. Enter. OK. All right, and this should have Crypt Tool installed. If I do this, Crypt Tool, there it is. Okay. Okay. It's written in .NET. It runs a little slow. Okay, here we are. I wonder if I can fit it to the screen. Let's give it a shot. That's a start. It's looking pretty good. Didn't get it. There. There we go. Now it's pretty much fitting on a screen. I'm going to do a little bit more of this. There we are. So. I use the wizard, and we're going to do encryption, decryption. Uh, let me go to my instructions here, which is here. OK, so um, it's cryptanalysis, modern, symmetric, AES. OK, so cryptanalysis, next, modern, next, symmetric is what we're doing. Asymmetric will come later in the course. And AES, the main one. So next. All right. This will analyze the ciphertext by using, analyze only the ciphertext. Next. And here you go, ciphertext to analyze. Now, if you don't know the key at all, there is no solution. That's the whole point of AES. But if you know most of the key, and there's only part of it that's unknown, shown here by asterisk, then it will brute force those. So here it's going to brute force three bytes, which is 2 to the 24, 16 million. We're doing an electronic code book and a key size of 128. Here's the encrypted stuff. So we do next. And it's going to perform the attack. And here it is doing trying a lot of things. And it's working by entropy. It's When you get the decryption to when, it, when the key is wrong, you'll get random bytes, so it'll be high entropy. When the key is right, you'll get English, which is low entropy, because it's only printable letters. So they just calculate the entropy of this and minimize it. That's the attack here. And so it's going to try all the keys and show you the answer with the minimum entropy. See, it's doing 24 bits. It's been going for 29 seconds. And it won't take forever. Um, estimated end will be one minute, from 726 to 727. So it shouldn't take too long to uh, crack this by brute force. But like I say, it is not cracking a whole 128-bit key in brute force. It was given most of it with only 24 bits missing. So it's... Uh, it, it can crack longer, longer key uh, if you don't know the... the yeah, you can only, um, yeah, 24 it bits. Just take longer, right? It would take longer, right. But uh, 24 bits takes a minute. Then if you add eight more bits, it would take 256 times as long. And so you'd never get to 128. It would take millions of years. It would take longer than the age of the universe. That's why it's secure. But this should finish. Let's see, it's been 55 seconds. It should finish pretty soon. It's trying 275,000 keys per second, and it has to do 16 million. So that'll be, uh, you know, somewhere around 100 seconds, 80 seconds, something like that. So let's see. Is it done? Oh, it is done. There you are. It found it. They were all ones. And here's the result. This was, in fact, German, but it doesn't matter. German or English, it's low entropy. So it did finish in 50 seconds. And that's the kind of thing you can do with this program. So there's just some challenges to do here. Um, this one here cracks it fills in the key, and it shows you the progress. 
And so now you've got things to do. There are various things to crack, but as always, I give you most of the key. Uh, you, here I give you all the key except for 24 bits. Here I give you all the key except for the first 12 bits and the last 12 bits. So there's just a few things to crack using the tool so you get to see it. And you could write your own Python to do it, but with this tool, you don't need to write anything. You can just use Crypt tool. So that's it for that one.